Don't let your steel engine parts sit around without proper lubrication of some sort. These cylinders have been sitting around just in these plastic bags since 2017 and who knows uh, how long before the uh, previous buyer got them but um, they're not terrible they're not bad at all but there's the lightest little bit of surface rusting going on in, in some of the jugs here I don't know if you can see that or not I uh, I'll probably take some photos and put them up to give you a better idea of what I'm dealing with. Uh, it's nothing big, but uh, got a cylinder home and trusty DeWalt and going to hone these out, lubricate them a little bit, and then possibly start uh, into the next stages of uh, continuing the jugs and the heads on the uh, engine for the airplane. So. Hang around. Hard on the fingertips. They do make a tool, but these are loose enough where I'm not too worried. Just got to be careful not to break the ring. Get this ready to get the rings back in when I'm done. Just while I'm thinking about it so I don't forget. A little on the surface. Little lubrication uses a bit of a honing fluid. That should be good. Keep my eye on the uh, little bit of surface oxidation while I was honing like that, just to not go any deeper than I needed to. And I was moving quickly to keep a nice crosshatch hone in here. You don't want the lines to uh, parallel because that just leads to problems down the road as uh, uh, the rings will uh, wear a lot faster and uh, things like that. So, let's see if you can, I don't know if you can still see the cross hatch, but you have to take my word for it, it's there. All right. Cleaner rag.
Okay. This is the second ring, the thicker one. A little cap full of the uh, the motor oil here, just to uh, give me easy access to uh, lubricating its things. left the uh, the oil ring in there so that'll give me a surface to square the ring up to the piston walls with and 12 thousandth gauge goes and 10 and 12 thousandths together is the 22 high end and that won't go so we're between 12 and 22 so that's within specs and now the top ring And I want to put them in the same way they'll send the pistons to uh, make sure the top side of the ring is, is facing up while I do this. Because I have the, the cylinder or the jug facing upward. Okay, that is squared. 12 thousandths goes. And twenty two does not go, so we are within specs on that one, also, uh, just like the rest. Uh, they all were virtually identical in, in uh, as far as the ring gaps go, so I didn't expect it to be different, but I still check them just uh, to be sure. So, all right. Cylinders home. Let's get the rings back on. Put just a touch more lube. Make sure it's facing up. It's hard once you got a little lubrication on there. Tad far, almost down into the oil, into the oil ring passage. Okay, so where's the gap there? Oil ring gap at three o'clock to the arrow. Thick ring, nine o'clock, and we'll do the top ring back at three o'clock. All right. It's just that easy. Now the hard part getting it back into the cylinder. This one, I want to go in that direction.
good enough. And we still want to have access to the, uh, the wrist pin. In fact, I could went just a hair too far. So when we go to put them on the engine, we want to be able to slide that wrist pin out so we can get it onto the connecting rod. So, yeah, that's uh, how you hone one of these cylinders if you need to, uh, at least the way I hone them. And if you saw me doing something incorrectly, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm always willing to learn. And uh, if, especially if there's a better way to do something, I'm always interested in learning in a better, more efficient way to do something. So, very good. Let's, uh, let's call this one a wrap. We'll, uh, next time you see me, we will be putting the jugs onto the block, the heads onto the block, and uh, yeah, figuring all that out. So, thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing here, remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up to make YouTube happy and share these videos with your friends.